One of the biggest problems with the strategy of the progressive left lately is that they don't have any big picture concept. And they've lost sight of their big picture concept of what are they actually trying to do, so much so that they don't actually have an identity anymore. A lot of people have remarked, say, on the, the Hillary Clinton campaign, that Hillary Clinton had nothing she was for. You know, in the, the famous words of Kyle Kuklinski, Hillary Clinton wasn't for anything. All she did was, I have vagina, I'm not Trump, I'm not Trump, I'm not Trump. And he said that the only way you can galvanize the progressive left is to actually be for something. And part of what built the progressive left into the fucking behemoth that it is right now is that it actually was for some things. And it's for things that are very easy to lie about. And it's actually exceptionally easy to buy those lies. I may be pridefully out here calling them evil and scum, but I've also been trying to remind people that the left is built out of a large base of useful idiots who are buying a moral narrative that happens to be false, but if you don't actually question it, it's very easy to buy. I bought it for several years, and I'm a smart guy. Uh, and that, that, that uh, narrative is the moral narrative. That's why you have everybody running out here saying that you should give up your guns because the blood is on your hands, not the hand of the shooter. You know, we've been over this over the past couple of weeks. That um, you need to give up your guns because guns are sentient demons that kill people rather than, you know, people killing people. That should be common sense. But it's not, because the left has done everything possible to pull the wool over everybody's eyes. And the first rule of the progressive left is don't use your common sense. And that's why, again, they're extremely short-sighted. Hillary Clinton's campaign was extremely short-sighted and presumptive, and now we're seeing that in the gun control debate with people like David Hogg. Now, I've said to you, extensively that the left wants to use the state as a weapon to literally hurt people. Unfortunately, um, with the uh, extremely calculated use of this sociopathic character, David Hogg, they found that they don't need to use the state as a weapon, that they can go back to their original favorite bludgeon to beat you with, and that's corporations. Now, when I was a big fan of the progressive left in about 2008, uh, through 2008 to 2014, <clears throat> one of the defining characteristics, sort of the principles, the narrative of the progressive left was fuck the corporations. I don't know if any of you people remember Occupy Wall Street at all. It was like, hey, these people steal. Hey, these people cheat. Hey, these people game the system. Hey, these people were allowed to cause the huge um, depression that the... I, I don't know why I forgot the word for it, but you know the big economic depression that happened in 2008, they decided not to call it that, but that's what it was, was because the corporations were allowed to gamble and speculate, the banks were allowed to loan to people they knew would not pay them back, and it crashed the system. So the left decided, hey, corporations are fucking destructive. And the reason why they're destructive is not because of what, you know, a, a person like David Hogg might tell you. A corporation is not immoral. It's amoral. It has to do whatever, you know, tactic it has at its disposal to decrease cost and increase revenue. And they'll do anything they're legally allowed to do to do that because that's how the competitive free market works. All right? That's not necessarily an immoral thing, but if you remove regulations they will use those tactics you're letting them do. And if they don't, somebody else will. That's just the nature of the beast. It's like fucking survival of the fittest out there, right? But now, the left has decided they're pro-corporate. David Hogg is vocally pro-corporate. Because why? Because in the short term, David Hogg can use corporations to hurt people. You're seeing him do this with Laura Ingram. Do I like Laura Ingram? No. Do I think she's retarded? Yes. Have I ever been okay with using lies and propaganda to attack the families, livelihoods, jobs, income, any of that shit of people? No. I think that's a form of violence that for some reason we've just decided is acceptable when it never should have been viewed that way. This is the reason why, specifically, that you're seeing the entire left 
be anti-free speech. Well, why the fuck are they doing that? The left used to be the party of free speech for two decades while Christian conservatives tried to fucking take away everything from everybody. Why has the left abandoned free speech? I'll tell you why. The reason why they've abandoned free speech, the reason why progressives don't care about free speech, and the reason why they're pro-corporate is because, like I said to you a million times, they are a culture of violence. And if they abandon the principles of freedom of expression, and if they decide to wed themselves to the uh, the juggernaut of corporate images and how any every sort of advertiser doesn't... Every advertiser lies. Like, oh, Pepsi says we have a moral stance. Coca-Cola thinks they're moral. McDonald's says they're moral. That's always a lie. Corporations are not moral. And they are not immoral either. We've been over this. They are amoral. Anytime they would claim to be moral is due to protecting their brand and their ability to make money. And in fact, if you afford a company immoral means to legally use immoral means to make money, they will take those. And if they can do something purely altruistic and philanthropist and all that shit and just fucking give to charity and whatever, if that helps their image, they'll do that too. And they have no preference between those things. It's just whatever works. So the left has discovered that if you don't like somebody, you can immediately attack their job, their corporate job, or you, if they're a media figure, they can attack their corporate sponsors. And the corporate sponsors have no obligation and no self-interest, no skin in the game with protecting who they advertise. So the second that PewDiePie says the N-word and the, and the fucking media latches on, the second that Laura Ingram criticizes uh, David Hogg, and we've apparently decided with, as far as the media goes that, it, that criticizing any left-wing, let me be clear about that, criticizing any left-wing progressive leftist survivor of Parkland is unacceptable. They'll say attacking Parkland survivors is unacceptable. That is a lie. Oh, um, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting this kid's name. The black kid, C.J. Pearson, he's a conservative. They do their best to ignore he even exists. And they attack Kyle Kashuv, the, mo the more uh, visible um, conservative uh, Parkland survivor, every fucking chance they get. Um, so, David Hogg is now operating straight out of the the Media Matters slash Soros fucking conniving playlist, he was very clearly waiting and in communication with some, for, for some conservative person to a, uh, attack him or just criticize him because all this was about was, oh, David Hogg, people uh, aren't uh, accepting you into fucking extremely badass colleges because your SAT scores aren't that great. Ha ha. And you went, ha ha at me. I'm a Parkland survivor. I'm a sacred cow. Here's a list of all of your fucking sponsors. Boycott all of them. And he had that response to Laura Ingram within minutes. Not days. Not hours. Minutes. Because he already had a plan in place to hurt the very first person who made fun of him. In the media. And the plan was, this person makes fun of me, they're a conservative, attack the sponsors. And so that, what do we do? We get her fired. Because the, her, the corporation she works for, the news corporation, can't afford to keep her on when David Hogg has targeted her advertisers. They always go straight for the wallet. Because how do you get somebody's... Anybody working with anybody to abandon that person, to isolate them so that you can hurt them in, in any way you want. This is attack the money. So the reason why they've abandoned free speech, they've abandoned all of their principles and why the left is 100% immoral, is because they would rather have the convenience of censorship, silencing, and violence than to actually stand for anything. They're not interested in promoting anything. They're interested in hurting their ideological enemies.